Okay everybody, welcome to another video. This video is going to go over my pedal kayak, the Old Town Predator PDL. This is a 2020 version, the color is First Light. So <clears throat> this is how I've got it rigged up for fishing and it'll go in just about in any lake you want to put it in. It is a little heavy so I like to use the Wilderness HD cart for transporting this. When I'm not driving it to the beach with the Jeep. So I got this Flambo Tough Series crate and with this crate I did a little bit of modifying. I put that flip up tray down on the bottom as you can see down here and then that way I can use my terminal tackle down there. So the terminal tackle being down there I've got the upper lid that will open up and I can store I think it's up to five of the 3700s. I added this little drawstring to limit the opening so it'll just rest up against the rods. It's got a four position rod holder on the back. Works out pretty well. Uh, this is my anchor system. It's just a clothing line reel that goes up to this night eyes so I can lock it in place when it comes down to the lever lock anchor trolley. It's all the way across. I use this chain to keep the anchor tip down. And in windier days, just this like three pound or two and a half pound anchor, it'll actually hold pretty decent. So there's two things that I didn't like about the chair that came with this kayak. Number one, without this lumbar support that I picked up on Amazon, this bar will dig right into your tailbone as you're pedaling. Maybe it's because I'm a bigger guy, but regardless, it's very uncomfortable. The other is trying to get this chair on these guide rails. Now, you can probably tell these aren't store-bought. <laughs> but I put these on here to lift up this knob. And that allows the chair to be able to slide up and down when you're putting it on. And then when you get to the desired spot that you want, you can just pull these to lock into place. But without those, it's a real struggle while you're kneeled over trying to get this chair put on. Not very fun at all. Um, I've also got this Scotty cup holder. And I've got these on pretty much all my kayaks. It's a nice place to also mount pliers and scissors. And then I've got my fish finder. And we've got the pedal drive. And with the pedal drive in the position to be pedaled. This camera mount clips on nice and easy right here to give you another angle like back at the chair or if you wanted to have an angle out the front which I just started using that and it works out pretty good. This is where I keep my net and I just kind of keep it resting in one of those clip holders. It's like a paddle holder from Yak here. And inside the front hatch is where I keep the battery. And it just zips up in that little pouch and stays put. This strap is designed to be clipped back in with one hand and it's actually pretty easy to use. Along the front, I've also got some LED lights that I installed. I have a red and a green along the standards of other boats. I know they're not necessary for kayaks, but I do everything I can to be seen when it's early in the morning or late in the evening. I made these out of PVC pipe and a black cutting board, and then just added a little bit of hardware. And it's a nice place to be able to stow a paddle. It makes it quick to pull in and pull out, and it's pretty stable. And then I'm using a LED whip light with the flag on it and I'll power that up in just a second and I'll show you guys how bright it is. You can use about any color combo you can think of with that. So all of that is managed within here. 
and this is the yak power control module within this box here I've got all my hardware wiring I know it's a mess but I really don't care so I can turn on my fish finder with one this is the bow lights as you can see green red and then mid lights these lights I can change the colors on these two it's four of them And at these angles, it doesn't shine up in your face, which really helps out. And then I've got the stern light, and that, if you can see it, lights up the LED whip. Which I like these better than the orange flag options that they give you with a little strobe light on top. But this works out pretty well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.